everybody, this is SG Genie, and I'm going to make a wonderful and delicious vegan smoked squash stew. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I took uh, two, maybe about three, depending on your size, butternut squash, and I cut it up, and then I um, put in some coconut milk in a blender, and I just blended it, and this is what I got, a very hearty and very smooth looking um, mixture which I'm going to add right now into my crock pot. I'm going to do this slowly so it doesn't splash. And then I'm going to add my smoked squash, which I smoked, oh, you can still smell the smokiness, um, a few days ago. Um, it's still absolutely too dry for me. Now I'm watering. And this is about two cups. So I'm going to add it in slowly because I don't want it to splash. And my smoked squash is a mixture of pumpkin, acorn, and butternut squash. Once again, I took one butternut squash, one acorn, and one pumpkin, a very small pumpkin. And I just uh, chopped them up, and then I put them on my uh, smoky dough, and there you go. <laughs> this is the result. Um, but of course, for this recipe, I say you only really need half of a butternut squash, half of an acorn, and um, half of a pumpkin. If you guys remember, I put the other half in my delicious lamb pumpkin smoked squash stew. And then I have two carrots, one white potato and one white onion, or excuse me, yellow sweet onion. Now I'm just going to add in here just to give it that nice stewy flavor. Yum. Here we go. As we all know, I'm pepper bombshell, so of course, there's going to be something delicious and spicy in here. I grabbed some Thai chili, um, a little bit green, a little bit red, and I had one jalapeno. I added some uh, sage and pineapple sage, and I just blended this up really fast in my little uh, food mixer. As you can see, I left the seeds in. You can always take them out, but the seeds will definitely add some heat. And you can see this is quite a lot. This is probably about a third of a cup of some spice. And what's the great thing about this is that when it stews here in the, my Nesco cooker or like a crock pot, it's actually going to, uh, you know, infuse throughout the entire stew, but it's also going to be super tasty. Okay, so what I want to do next is I'm just going to do this by eyeball. So I've got a little allspice, and I just want to put, that's about it, <laughs> one good shake, which is about a quarter of a teaspoon. And then I've got some cinnamon. I love these McCormick cinnamon grinders. And I'm just going to put, if you will, I'm going to eyeball this, about two teaspoons. That looks good. And then I'm going to take some of my nutmeg. And there we go. And I have a microplane, and I'm just going to give it some fresh, fresh nutmeg. And that's probably just about a half teaspoon. And then I'm going to add some fresh salt, teaspoon, and then black pepper. Now, you can certainly go crazy with any kind of pepper, green or pink, you name it, red. But for this, I just want to make it delicious and tasty and very fresh. So, what we'll do is we'll come back after I have cooked this for about, hmm, say, 250 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for about 12 hours in a, a nice, delicious uh, Nesco slow cooker. Mm. The whole house will just be fragrant of smoked, spicy squash stew. So, when we come back, 